I would like to thank very much the organizer for invitation for uh, the conference. We, will, we would like to present our results uh, entitled Phase Transition of MB30C Ionic Liquids Confinement in Nanocarbons. Uh, the confinement effect is, uh, has a many applications in many fields. The, for different porous matrices like multiple carbon nanotube, hierarchical carbon, CMK3, uh, confinement effect is recently very much uh, studied uh, with application in microelectronic, gas sensing, environmental protection, energy storage, gas separation, solar cell, and in medicine. Our aim was to understand the phase behavior of ionic liquids within carbon nanopores. As the ionic liquids, we use MNTFC, uh, consists of the cation and anion, and also uh, microporous uh, carbon, uh, which have the cylindrical pores with the pore size about one, uh, one nanometer. Currently, much research in electrochemistry is concerned with the effect of direct application of the ionic liquid as electrolyte or supercapacitor. Ionic liquid consists entirely of ions, as they operate as solvent-free electrolytes, exhibiting significantly higher operational voltage than classical organic electrolytes. Due to the fact that the operation condition for supercapacitor require low temperature, uh, an important issue is an investigation of melting behavior of ionic liquids applied as an electrolyte. As it is now from the literature, uh, the melting freezing behavior in porous media can show increase of the melting temperature of the substances, uh, confinement substances relatively to the bulk uh, and also decrease of the melting temperature of the confinement system relatively to the bulk. It is the, the criterion of the increase or decrease uh, the melting temperature uh, so far is the uh, alpha parameter, which is the ratio of the fluid wall to fluid-fluid interaction. If this parameter has a high value, we can expect increase of the melting temperature, and for lower value of alpha, we can observe decrease of melting temperature relatively to the pore. Uh, as an experimental uh, method, we applied uh, dielectric spectroscopy, differential scanning calorimetry, in wide temperature range, and also uh, structural uh, properties we investigate using wax and neutral diffraction method. Such an experiment, uh, experiments were done for uh, amine TFC bulk and amine TFC placed in porous uh, nanocarbon. Results of the direct differential scanning calorimetry and dielectric spectroscopy show that uh, melting behavior of the uh, ionic liquids is not homogeneous. We can, uh, at lower temperature, uh, on the VSC scan, we can distinguish endothermic peak at temperature about 270 and also peak related with the heat release due to the melting process. So we can see that uh, we observe solid-solid transition for the ionic liquids be below a melting point. The same results we can uh, see from a measurement of dielectric capacity versus temperature. So we can see the change of capacity at the temperature typical for the solid solid phase transition and big change of the capacity uh, typical uh, for the melting uh, behavior as the dielectric, uh, uh, as the uh, uh, orientational polar polarization of the uh, molecules uh, is uh, uh, <coughs> not
not exist at the solid state. So we can see big increase at, uh, of the capacity at the melting point. Uh, we measure complex uh, permittivity uh, versus uh, frequency. So we were able to, using the Debye dispersion relation, to estimate the dielectric relaxation time, uh, which is the uh, which uh, describes the molecular motion in the uh, solid of a mean molecule. At the solid state of uh, ionic liquid, we find few kind of the molecular motion, uh, which, uh, which are stable at temperature range uh, until about 270. Then they change, and they vanish uh, above the melting point of the ionic liquid. Uh, it is interesting feature because uh, on the basis of the structural method we find that at lower temperature we have a, uh, we have a, a stable structure of the, uh, of the um, solid state then at temperature about 245 uh, the structure is changed and uh, also from this point we observe the change of the relaxation motion. Uh, it is the temperature uh, 200, uh, 245, it is the temperature above the solid solid phase transition. As we find that at the lower temperature the ionic liquid has a monoclinic symmetry. Uh, symmetry for higher temperature was uh, not uh, was undefined for us. The similar results we have from uh, the, the neutron diffraction experiment. We can see the stable structure of solid uh, ionic liquids until about 240, and it has changed at the temperature higher than the solid solid phase transition. The results for uh, confinement ionic liquids uh, show that uh, we can, uh, the results of DSC show the typical uh, peak for the melting temperature of the bulk system as we have access of the system or, uh, in the system of the bulk uh, substances. And the additional peak is, is related with the pore melting point. It is divided for the two Gauss curves, showing that the system is not homogeneous and the peak is not regular, the peak showing the pore melting point. For, uh, for lower temperature, we can see uh, solid solid phase transition, typical for the bulk liquids. Uh, similar results we can see from uh, measurements of uh, dielectric capacity. We can see two points of change of the capacity related with the uh, melting impulse and big change of the capacity related with the melting of the uh, uh, bulk uh, substances. Analysis of the dielectric relaxation time show that uh, we can see here additional branch of the relaxation time. The great point, the relaxation time re related with the bulk uh, behavior of the bulk uh, uh, substances, but we can see additional branch which is changed at pore melting point and it is, uh, it is, sh uh, it is lower uh, then the melting point, then the relaxation time typical for the bulk uh, substances. The, this, uh, uh, this relaxation time uh, can be related with, uh, the relaxation time is related with the substances uh, in confinement in pores and uh, it has a different value because uh, of the interaction pore walls with uh, at 
atomic uh, with the uh, uh, ionic liquid molecules. Uh, analysis of the structural method for uh, confinement system show that uh, we can see a solid structure at lower temperature, which is uh, not changed until 240. At higher temperature, uh, we can see the change of the uh, structure of the um, system related with the solid-solid phase transition of the bulb and also with the power melting points. The same results we can see from uh, neutron diffraction results at lower temperature until uh, practically 240 is no change of the structure uh, of the system and changes we observe at uh, since 250 Kelvin where we have a solid-solid phase transition and also a uh, melting point in pulse. As a conclusion, we could say that the melting process of M in 33 is not homogeneous. The ionic liquids on the heating process undergoes to phase transition, solid-solid transition at temperature 240 and the melting transition at 258. In the temperature range 10 to 240, chemin TFSC forms a crystal monoclinic structure where the rotation motion of molecular groups are observed. At the higher temperature, up to the melting temperature, the crystal structure was undefined and the rotational motion of molecular groups was changed. The melting temperature of amine confinement in nanos carbons power decrease relatively to the bulk and is about 253 Kelvin. We observed in pores, similarly as for ionic liquid bulk, the existence of the rotational motion of ionic liquid molecular group below melting point, which is slower than this motion of, for uh, ionic liquid bulk. It can be the result of the ionic liquid pore walls interaction in confinement system. Uh, we conclude also that emit FSC with the melting point at sub-zero temperature can be a good choice for the application as an organic electrolyte in supercapacitor operating at low temperature. Uh, I would like to acknowledge the group of Professor Gabins from North Carolina State University and uh, also with my team uh, from uh, Poznan, Poland. Thank you very much for the attention.